Hey there, folks. Today, we're diving into a fresh project. Remember that 2022 G63? Well, we've transformed it into a slick 4x4 squared setup. Step by step, we've tested, added portal gearboxes, fine-tuned electronics, and lifted the ride. Successful testing led us here, and now we're taking it further. But here's the twist, no flashy add-ons for us. We're going to cut it and make a stunning 6x6 conversion. I will remind that original Vossen rims are on sale. The prices are the same as for new G-Wagon and for old. No spacers needed. The interior, you see, is disassembled. Every little thing meticulously labeled, every block accounted for. It had to be this way, as it's our first time working on the new G-Wagon. Let gods help us. Our team is already deep into the process. We've crafted windows in the same style as the classic G-Wagon, the ones I showcased on Instagram. The new G-Wagon that's already out for testing, you won't find widespread photos online, as it hasn't been officially unveiled yet. I've already posted original pictures on my Instagram, featuring the 2023 6x6 model. I showed this new G-Wagon to a client, and he said, Sonia, I don't want such a spectacle. Make it the way you always do. Despite the new body, we're sticking to the old G-Wagon style. We've already fabricated the frame, using two P-shaped sections welded slightly thicker than the factory specs. The factory frame is just 2.5 millimeters thin, while the old G-Wagon's frame is twice as thick. We've added dents in the frame so that in case of an accident, the frame bends downward. We need to clean everything up and reinforce it to ensure everything works smoothly in the future. Next up is the rear panel. This wall will also mirror the classic G-Wagon style. The only difference is that the window will be slightly wider because our G-Wagon is about 10 to 12 centimeters wider. The bottom part, that is. The top is a bit narrower, as the roof tapers in a more even manner on the old model. Alright, let me tell you a bit more about what we've got going on here. Just a reminder, this is the 2022 G-Wagon, the G63 model. We've been entrusted with the task of cutting it open, 
but I'm confident it's going to turn out to be one awesome ride. So, what were the challenges, you ask? Let's dive in. First off, the side panels. They're definitely different from the older body, just a tad. If you look from above, they're rounded, which is quite the contrast to the older G-Wagon's boxy design. Solving this puzzle wasn't easy, but we managed. We sliced that rear fender, moved it back, and inserted a straight side. And voila, those shapes that seemed to go all wobbly before? Well, we straightened them out. I'll show you the finished product from every angle later on. You'll see how we've maintained that classic G-Wagon style. But hey, let me tell you about an interesting twist. See, there was a big issue with the new body. The new G-Wagon? It's all about curves. The rear end is round, like, seriously contoured. Particularly those rear wings. If you look from above, they're arched. The old G-Wagon? It's as straight as a board. So, we had a massive problem. But guess what? We cracked it. We sliced that rear wing, shifted it back, and popped in a flat side. Yeah, and if you look from above, it's all harmonious now. No more propeller-like oddities. I'll show you the transformation, every aspect of it. You see, we initially wanted to match the new G-Wagon's design, like, exactly. It's a pricey machine, you know? A whopping million and a half dollars. I showed it to the client. But hey, sometimes new things take time to grow on you, right? The client wasn't totally sold. Maybe it was too unfamiliar. So, we decided to stick with what we know, our signature style. The only tweak we made was to the rear door. It won't open downwards anymore, that was just inconvenient. Instead, it swings out, aluminum and lightweight. No issues there. And the rear window? Well, it's the same as the previous model. It'll pop open for ventilation when you close the doors. In terms of the rear frame, we're on top of that too. Remember, it's really slim on this new G-Wagon, part of the whole weight-saving scheme. We made our section a bit thicker. We've got internal reinforcements inside the frame, totally hidden from view. So, here's the deal, we've been welding frames for around 16 years. We've even stretched a G-Wagon by, say, five and a half meters, made it a limo. It's not a biggie for us. This project? Maybe another three weeks or so for the welding work, you know, getting the body just right. The next stage for us is another axle, yes, the suspension. You'll notice that it's quite different from the previous G-Wagon. This one's equipped with a four-link suspension and a hefty stabilizer bar. Now, this big stabilizer bar, will need to get a similar bridge and install it at the rear. The clients asked for a full 6x6 six six setup. This means we'll be adding an extra transfer case and shifting the differential sideways to achieve the perfect alignment of the driva shafts, eliminating any angles and such. If we don't adjust the rear differential accordingly, the additional drive shaft will result in some wild vibrations at high speeds, and eventually, things won't go well, a drive shaft might even come off. But we've got experience, I believe we'll work it out and show you how it's done. Now, let's talk about the rear wall of our G-Wagon. The rear legroom, I've discussed this before, shown you what we did. Basically, we crafted a setup similar to the 6x6 model. It was a client request to make it slightly wider, considering the new G-Wagon's body is a tad broader than the old one. I'll tell you, it's a real challenge, this rear wall. Its form is far from simple, not everyone can create these shapes. We tested this out when it was a 4x4 version, way back during the initial prototype stage. Given that it's a G63 with tons of electronics, we were hesitant to cut into it immediately and transform it into a 6x6. So, we did a 180 km per hour test, evaluated it all, made corrections where needed. 
everything worked out, stood on different rims, the offsets were more than needed. Now, we've got the proper ones, just like we've always used, 18 inch. But mind you, these were too large before, due to those colossal brake calipers. We could have gone with 20 inch rims, but we've maintained our distinctive style. I'll show you those rims shortly, the tires have arrived for them as well, ready to take their place on this vehicle. And now, folks, I want to discuss the two G-Wagons that Mercedes released, the G636 6x6, the 2023 models priced at a whopping million and a half dollars each. I want to delve into their similarities, what they're made of, and more. I've prepared a few photos to help explain and show you that these are essentially upgraded XLP pickups. Now, this model over here, almost complete, but I won't reveal it yet, that's for the next video. But let's go over the photos I've got here. Here's the XLP Brabus pickup. Remember these shapes, this part here, that piece right here, recognize it? Now, this is the 2023 G-Wagon 6x6. Notice the same insert and the same body essentially, just longer. The only difference is from the rear wheel to the bumper. Here's where the XLP pickup insert is, longer by 20 centimeters. But it's absent on the 6x6 model. The widened fenders are different here, more pronounced angles. And here, see this extra curve? Not very elegant, but it's there. The fender flares make sense. For the 6x6, they're a bit different, but that's not a problem. In essence, you can replicate everything. Here, since it's a single wheel, this is how the fender flare looks. Now, before you, we have the new XP pickup, the rear wall, glass, wiper, taillights, remember all this. Focus on the flares here, let's remember all of this. And now, the 6x6, essentially the same rear wall. I'll say it again, it's the same XP pickup, just longer. And another photo of the XP from the side view. You see this insert here? It's the same as on the 6x6, so the difference is here. The fender flares are slightly different, two others, to be precise. And here, see this insert? Sort of an additional curve, maybe not very elegant, but it's there nonetheless. What I'm getting at is that the 2023 G-Wagon 6x6 can be transformed to look just like this, except longer, like we did with the old G-Wagon to the new one. Essentially, you'd remove half the lines from the old body to mimic the new one. We will drive out that car, show it to you. We transformed it into the new style, curved doors, integrated windscreen, just like the new model. All of this was quite challenging. We crafted additional carbon fender flares. To sum it up, turning an old body into a new one involved eliminating half the lines and so on. The rear door, right there. You see it's kind of smooth here, whereas the old body had a lot of edges. All of that needed to be removed, in short, welded. To be honest. There were a lot of challenges, but we managed. The essence is that we have these parts that we can sell. The XLP pickup pieces, well, we can adapt and make them into a 6x6, 2023 style G-Wagon on the old chassis, that's the 2005 model and onwards. We can set up the portal axles, make it a true 6x6, and even update it to the new style. Hang on for a bit. We'll show you our pickup. Judge it. And then, get in touch with us if something catches your interest. We'll build it. Anyway, folks, stay tuned on Instagram because there's more information there. Videos are a bit tricky and time-consuming, but I keep sharing stories on Instagram, showing you what's happening at the moment with each of our projects. Well, for now, that's it, guys. And as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to our armed forces. Catch you later.